Are you setting your future self up for success? This question is very much top of mind for me this week, as you might tell from my voice. I am currently under the weather with something, not feeling too great, so it's going to be a short one. I will not have my feelings hurt if you decide you don't want to listen to my nasally voice for a couple of minutes. Completely understand. The topic comes to mind because I have clearly not set my future self up, my current self, up for success. Because week after week, I've told myself I'm going to build up a library of episodes so that if something ever came up, like I wasn't feeling well, I could make sure that I still had an episode in the queue to go live. And every single week, I think, oh, no, it's fine. I've been going this long, 20 episodes and counting. So why bother? And here we are. I have arrived at the moment, the answer of why bother I'm sure you have had similar experiences where your past self kind of sets up your future self or current self to fail. In my previous life, when I lived alone, I would have a set of dishes that I needed to wash, of course, so that I could use them again. And I'd just let them stack and stack until I ran out of dishes. And then I'd get so annoyed at myself for not having continuously cleaned them and put them back in the cupboard and all that good stuff. And I thought, if only I had just done a couple of minutes of work every single day, this wouldn't have been a problem. And now I have about at least half an hour of dedicated cleaning time to get back to the starting line so that I can use a plate to have my dinner or prep my dinner. One of the ways to really help set your future self up for success, ironically, is to not think about yourself in the future, but think about it as a loved one in the future. We've talked about self-love, and that's a very hard topic to get good at thinking of loving yourself and being kind to yourself. But I think it's a lot easier, and research has shown this, it's a lot easier to love someone else and be kind to someone else. So now that I live with someone, it's much easier for me to make sure that I don't let the dishes pile in the sink because every single time I see one in the sink, I think, well, if I'm not doing it, then she's going to be doing it. I don't really want to do that to her because she's had a long day and work is hard and she's got a lot of other stuff she's doing. And I'm right here, so let me just wash the dish or put it in the dishwasher or whatever the case may be. So thinking about that for whatever task you're looking at, think about doing it for someone you love. It could be a parent, it could be a child, it could be a spouse, a friend, a pet even. And instead of asking yourself, well, if I don't do it now, I can do it later. Think, well, if I don't do it now, then my friend is going to have to do this or my mom is going to have to do this or my wife or my husband or my spouse is going to have to do this. And think, do you really want to leave them with this work? I would hope not. You know, sometimes it's it's nice to do something nice for other people. And so then you just tackle the task yourself. And then now comes future you who's currently who becomes current you. And current you is so pleased with past you for having done the work and setting yourself up for a little successful moment. So this week, really think about that any single time you're going to put something off. Ask yourself, well, if I don't do this now, then that means that my friend is going to have to do it. And I don't really want to make my friend do this work. Trick yourself into thinking you're doing it for someone else. Eventually, you'll get so good at that that you'll realize that someone else is you just a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. And you'll stop putting things off as much and it's going to feel really good. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have a song of the week. I need to get back to resting But my promise to you is that I will be building up my library of songs now with my new trick. And hopefully you'll never have to hear another nasally cold voice Sammer again. I hope all of you stay healthy, stay happy, and set your future selves up for success and have a wonderful week ahead. And I'll be back next Tuesday with a regular episode.